Budget 2010 brought to you by Harith Fund Managers. In Nigeria's case, is slightly different. They're, uh, they're going to be reducing their budget deficit from 9% in 2009, or they aim to reduce it to around 4.7%. Nigeria's position differs from uh, most African countries in that they had a crude reserve account, so they had a savings buffer of around $13 billion, which they're going to draw down on to increase on spending to stimulate the economy, particularly on the infrastructure side. What's positive about the South Africa budget, though, and the recovery of 2.3% projected for uh, this year is uh, that um, it will help stimulate growth in the Saku region. Mm -hmm. Botswana is a case in point. It released a budget last week where we saw that they estimated they had a fiscal deficit of around 15%. Mm -hmm. They intend to try and rein that into 12.2%. And one of the reasons why the budget deficit is so wide is because the customs proceeds from the Saku region mm -hmm. have dropped significantly. Okay. And a major issue on, uh, for Africa, obviously, is infrastructure spend, and we're seeing a huge budgetary allocation for it here in South Africa. Uh, we're seeing other countries commit. We're told by the World Bank that to meet their infrastructure needs, African countries need to invest no less than $93 billion per annum, per annum $93 billion from African countries for infrastructure spend. Correct. The global recession has been actually quite detrimental in terms of investing in infrastructure. Uh, following debt relief in the middle part of the last decade, we saw lots of countries step up expenditure on infrastructure. However, from last year, we're seeing that uh, that percentage that goes to development expenditure has had to ease as a result of declining revenue inflows. However, countries such as Kenya have been able to raise funds domestically mm -hmm. through infrastructure bonds. Mm -hmm. They raised um, an infrastructure bond early in 2009 and mm -hmm. the second half of 2009, and that they'll be able to use to invest in road infrastructure, particularly on the regional transport network system. So they're in a better position right. than most African countries. The challenge that South Africa has faced is revenue collection, a uh, shortfall in tax of 69 billion. Many other African countries don't have very well functioning tax systems, and so the burden for taxation often falls on corporates invested in the country. What's been done across Africa in terms of finding creative ways to make money? Okay, in most African countries, we've seen a s uh, severe revenue erosion, particularly in the oil producing regions. I speak of Angola and Nigeria, whereby up to 70 to 80% of tax revenue stems from the petroleum sector. Mm -hmm. So, in with regards to tax measures, you've seen very limited movements or uh, measures in that area simply because it's dropped significantly. Mm -hmm. However, you have seen in cases of Zambia, whereby they've provided tax breaks to investors that are importing equipment mm -hmm. uh, for their investment projects, and in that regard, they've attempted to ease the problem. I think the concern, though, is the increase in domestic borrowing we're seeing across mm -hmm. the board simply because on uh, external financial markets mm -hmm. credit is uh, much more expensive and difficult right. to come by and as a result that could put up upward pressure on interest rates. Just on that one uh, Lulu, pressure caused by borrowing. We know that mm -hmm. public spending went up in South Africa last year by 19 percent. Mm -hmm. um, the public debt is on the rise. Yeah, that is unfortunate news that we had to deal with. Um, government has indicated that they don't plan to use a big bang approach to uh, reduce uh, the measures that they've put in place. Uh, on the one hand, that's good news. On the other hand, it does create some problems with, with debt um, down the line. Fortunately, government has uh, reined in its expenditure um, and it's growing mm -hmm. modestly this year if you've mm -hmm. compared to previous years, mm -hmm. only around 2%. Mm -hmm. So that, that should help, uh, but government has indicated that it will allow the economy some time right. to, to naturally reduce that.